Whoa, whoa. Stop doing that to me, camera. Right, hey guys, I'm LB, and we are in Chapter 6, Fragile Dreams, and I guess we left off somewhere in here, right? Yeah. Right. So let's drop a... <laughs> drop a cube down onto this pressure plate. That moves... not what I expected it to move, alright. Gotcha. Can stand on here, and do this. That's quite a delay for it to activate the button, isn't it? So now we're up here. We can move that to create a bridge for ourselves. Interesting. And we would want to launch the cube into that at some point, right? But as of right now, I'm not really seeing a good way to do that. Maybe we launch it from the other side? Hmm. Well. Anyway, let's just drop down here. I'll stand on the back here, and we will launch ourselves over this barrier. Ah, that's how we would do it. Okay. There we go. Now we just need to do that with ourselves, right? But, ideally we would want the cube here, so... Yeah, we want the cube on this button now. Which, first we need to do... Yeah. How do we actually get out of here, though? Well, let's just do this in first of all. Oops, that's- nope, nope, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> I want to get off of this, and that moves it back over here. Ah, here's how we get out of here. There we go. Oh, this actually works out perfectly. Excellent. So... Or does it? Hmm. Or does it? Yeah, it does. Or does it? Because <laughs> now, it doesn't seem like I can get up there. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Hmm. Because I want to be able to be on that, when the cube lands on that. I'm not missing a place where I can put a thing in there, right? Let's try this again. I think I might have missed a spot where I could put a cube or something, perhaps. Right, nothing up there. Nothing around here. This is our way out, but we want to use this... Can I Oh, I can't click that through here, okay. That's interesting, it, it highlights as if I could click it. Even though this barrier stops me from clicking it, so... That's a bit strange, don't you think? Hmm. I surely don't have to rush it, right? That wouldn't make sense. Do I need to use red at all? I don't really see much of a reason to do so. What happens if I put a red here? Not much. Does not allow me to press that, that's for sure. Hmm. So if I do this and just run for it, will that work? Nope, there's no running for it. That's not gonna work. Right, well, this might be the actual first puzzle in the game. That isn't a tutorial, in that case. I'm surprised it took us this long to get to one that stuck me, but, uh... Oh my gosh, did I just... come on. I thought I was standing on this, but apparently not. But yeah, finally... Finally, fourth episode in, and we get to something that I don't immediately know how to solve. So that's good. I was worried it was gonna take longer, like, six episodes in or seven episodes in. Huh, I can see that from here. 
Yep. <laughs> Can't expand it now. Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to jump on the cube and jump up to here? I didn't think I'd be able to make the jump, but perhaps I can. Yeah, let's try that. I think that's the one piece of the puzzle I'm missing, is that I- I thought I couldn't make the jump. Yeah, it does land right close to the edge there. Alright, that makes sense now. I thought that the jump was a bit too high for me to make. But nope, we can definitely- okay, that's it. Yep. There we go. So then we do that. Now we can get ourselves in there. There we go. Whoops. Rumbling again. Emma, do you think this whole structure is some form of machine? Oh well, yeah. The object that was going to collide with Earth. We thought it was a vessel, but after being on it, it was totally empty. Like it was a self-sufficient machine. I guess we'll find out soon enough when the last third is powered. I hope this works. Me too, Minnie. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a giant machine, don't you think? I think that would be pretty evident. Right, so we finished all of these now. We can head back from whence we came, and I guess go on to the third section of whatever the, our goal is. People have told me they- they don't notice the walking speed after getting through the game. I definitely notice the walking speed, it's just way too slow for my liking. But I am impatient, as people have pointed out. Oh, it changed where my camera was facing, okay. Right, so now... We should be heading on to another... another area of three puzzles, right? I think that's basically how it works. Only one more reactor to power. So we went... we went in that direction, we've gone in that direction. I thought that was where we came from. Oh right, we fell down from the hole! Even though I can't see my hands, I can still change. <laughs> this isn't interacting anymore, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I thought that we came through that door originally, but no, we fell through the hole right there, originally. So this is where we go next. That threw me off a little bit. Yep, another elevator, another loading screen. Cause why wouldn't it be? That is one problem with this particular structure here, is that you have to do a loading screen twice in a row to get onto the next part of the game. Chapter 7, The Edge... ...of Tomorrow? The Edge of Tomorrow? No, just The Edge. Is this... Are they, yep, the reflections are still bugged. Okay, they haven't patched that. <laughs> it's been a few days since the last, last episode. Last one, huh? Let's explore a little bit, so that's where they want me to go first. We have another door up there... ...another door up there... Another door... here. Wait, there's a door there. Two, three... and then four? Normally it's just three, right? Yeah, so there's four this time. Interesting. I'm sure speedruns will be all about figuring out how to avoid that animation. <laughs> so many cables. Ooh, this is a neat color. Ooh, are we gonna get a new... new puzzle element? Nope, that just- that's just a light source that comes from nowhere. Yep, just- just a light source that comes from nowhere. Can I actually see out these windows to any degree? Sort of. You can't actually see the desert out there, so that's good. 
just really want to jump out the window. Like, I'm so close, I could- I'm sure my character could lift herself up. Especially from here. You could jump and pull yourself up. Nope. <laughs> it's so tantalizing. Dark areas. Bad for compression. Magnetism. You just imme- okay, so you didn't know what fans were, but you clearly figured out that this is magnetism before I even could see it. I hadn't even seen this yet, and you just knew it was magnetism, but when there's giant fans that are blowing air, you're like, I've never seen this technology before. Okay then. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, uh, okay, I guess it has a very limited range. There we go. See... I don't really feel like this was necessary, particularly. I guess that's just to show us the limited range. We could have started the puzzle with this right here, instead of that right there, and I think that it wouldn't have been a problem. That just seems like over-tutorialization right there. This seems like a good starting point for introducing this mechanic. Hmm. Right, so those move, those don't. Gotcha. Well, this is pretty straightforward. Put bounce pad there, put a cube there, move it over. There you go. There we go. We can stand on top of it and lift ourselves up. Whee! It's interesting that it doesn't fly off to any other direction, it stays centered. That's good to note. Look at these hues! Look at these hues! Let me jump out of here. <laughs> Alright. We want to break that with a cube. Put a cube there, and that does not help us in the slightest. Okay. So how about... here, and... there we go. There we go. And let me guess, we want red here to stop the cube from flying out. Yep. Perfect. So we got this on a moving platform, and the cable for that is up there. Interesting, so we have to break that open before we can even move that. Lots of magnets. Oh, I actually wanted that to stay where it was, I guess. Let's go ahead and change that. Come on. Come on. There we go. Actually, maybe. What if I do this? That was a little bit disappointing. What if we do this first? And then we do this. There we go. I wonder why the physics are different like that. That kind of... That kind of frustrates me that the physics are that picky. Huh. Right, so in here we have a button... That we just press once, right? This is a press once. Uh, excuse me, I said press once. Thank you. Yep, that is now permanently activated. Good news. So now... Do that. Do this. And we move it over. And that should be... Should be all we need, I think. Am I, am I gonna be able to make this jump, though? Hmm. Alright. <laughs> ah, hmm. Well, I'd, I've done messed up. Come on, create a cube, please. It's very picky about where you click. That's interesting, I don't get the velocity- I don't inherit the velocity of whatever platform I'm standing on. Strange. Right, so this is already pushing out, and... Ooh, it actually launched us all the way up here. Interesting. 
Alright, on to the next. I've been told that there probably aren't secrets in this game, unfortunately. Like, at least Demon Arisen doesn't think there's any secrets in the game, so... I won't spend nearly as much time looking for secrets. Hmm. My, if it, is it just giving me velocity? It's just, what? Is it just giving me extra velocity for no reason? Is this like the minimum velocity? If that's the case, and it really is like Bounce Shell in Portal 2, it's fascinating. It's fascinating how much it's like Bounce Shell in Portal 2 if it has a minimum velocity like that. Aperture Tag Team sure knew what they were doing. I mean, not Aperture Tag, the Tag, the Pink Gun Testing Initiative Team. The Aperture Tag Team are unrelated, I think. That's interesting. So we want a cube here. That open so we can jump down into there, right? Yeah, that looks like the next area based on that symbol. There's a lot going on here, isn't there? Right, well. Let's see if the physics will allow me to jump up over to here. What the heck just stopped me there? This cable? Alright then. Let's try this again. Why can I not get up there? Hmm. Uh, excuse me, game, I would like to go up, please. What is with the physics here? I don't understand what's causing any of this- what? Why is it so inconsistent? Well, yep. Physics just as inconsistent as Cube 1, unfortunately. That's the problem with physics in puzzle games. It's really hard to make consistent physics. Can we actually even do anything right now without getting up to there? Like, how would I even make this jump? I can't make this jump. Right? I don't think I can make this jump. What? I can make the jump? That looks like a jump I cannot make. Okay, I guess I can make that jump. Come on, just one more block, and I can escape. Although, I guess I wouldn't really want to be out there, but still. Hmm. It sure is convenient that there's so many skylights in all these test chambers. Because, uh, otherwise... Otherwise, you just have to rely on these light strips. Right. That can open that. How do we move this? Goes to that. What happens if I put a cube in here? Ooh, look at that. That's interesting. How does it help me, though? It doesn't seem particularly helpful, honestly. Maybe that's how I was supposed to get up here. I don't know. But then what would be that area for? Oh. I was supposed to do this first. Okay. Wow, that... That seems a little bit improbable, but sure. Right, then I guess we do that, and just... Come on, come on, there we go. There we go. And then, I guess... Wait, did I even need to come up here? Did I even need to come up here at all? Yes, because I needed to do this. Well, that's not quite what I was hoping would happen. Because we want the cube up here, right? Is this going to be a timing thing? So I can do that in advance. And then I just have to hope that the timing works out here. Ooh, 
That was very lucky. Oh, right, the cube can't even do that. Uh... Wait, I think- I think I don't need the cube here after all. <laughs> I think my goal is just to go down there, right? It's kind of a weird way to design this, but sure. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I would like to go down, please. Um... okay... What causes me to go up higher, though? Randomness? Seems like randomness is what's causing any of this to happen in any meaningful way. And... there we go. Alright. Not sure why that had to be the way it was, but okay. You said that someone else destroyed the object. Who were they? Some other scientist or military personnel that we sent. Why did they send individuals? Why not teams? To increase our chances, each would jump to different parts of the vessel, transported. What? Like, teleported? Yes. Some people lost their memory in tests. Others went mad. A portion were fine, of course. It, it was difficult to predict. Is that what happened to me? I mean, how long have I been out for? I don't know how long we've both been asleep, Millie. And yes, it's possible. Hopefully your memories will come back. Why can't I see anything? Why is it so hard to see out here? Is the light just that blinding? I guess the light is just that blinding. Sure, we'll go with that. Okay. We can rotate this whole column. We can also rotate the floor here. Interesting. Hmm. Well, that's not particularly helpful. What about... Like this? Nope, I can't actually land on top of it, so that's not helpful. about... No, I also can't land on top of that either. Huh. What if I do something like this, rotate it like that, and then rotate this, and then I stand on the cube, and do this. There we go. Now I'm up here. And then I guess I do this. Yep, that seems to have worked. Okay then. Huh. Where do I get a cube on here from? Oh, that's where- okay. Cube there, please. Oh, yeah, because that worked out wonderfully. <laughs> Wait, what? So I can rotate this like that, and I can also make it go up and down. Nope, this is the button. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So I guess I need to basically redo it. Yeah, okay. Just to redo. Gotcha. So... What's the best way to do this, actually? Oh, there we go. That's simpler. That's simpler than what I had in mind. There we go. I wonder why it wouldn't- it had- like, it had the selection on there, like it highlights it, but then sometimes it doesn't let you click even though it's highlighted. That's very strange. My question is, I want it up there or down below? 
Well, crap. <laughs> Gotta do this again now. I swear, sometimes it just doesn't let me click, even though I've got it selected. Yeah, like right here, it's got it selected, but it's not letting me click just because my crosshairs are a little too far to the right. Like, it selects it from that far away, but I have to actually have my crosshairs on it for it to actually let me click. That's bizarre. There we go. Oh, I didn't actually want to do that. Uh, hmm. Or did I? Wait, what? What am I standing on there? What am I standing on here? Tiny little lip? I don't think I'm supposed to be standing on this, but sure, let's go with that. Well, now I'm screwed. <laughs> uh... There, let's- let's go with that! <laughs> I am 100% sure that that is not the intended solution. Uh... Okay then. We can still rotate that, but I don't think we need that anymore. We can still rotate that, but I don't think we need to. Like, a lot of the stuff is just used once and then never again. It's kinda... Kinda poor puzzle design. Even if it is a little challenging. Tiny bit challenging. It's still poor puzzle design. There we go. So the question now is, what exactly are we supposed to do? Because I can't just jump on this from here, right? Oh, I can! What? It's another one of those things where you don't know that you even have enough time to do it, and you just have to guess wildly. Alright, well, that seems like the intended solution, even though I hate it. Yeah, not a fan of that. Anyway, on to the next. There we go. What was the point of that, though? No idea what the point of that was. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh dear. Something is really wrong. She's alive. And reacting. But I just can't get it to let go of it. Keep an eye on her. And I'll call the extraction team. See if they can come in once early. I think I'm hearing a little bit of the original voice actor, the- the crazy guy from Cube 1. The- the let go of it part especially was familiar. Hmm. So now we get to do the three rooms in any order we choose. Come on now. Let's start at the bottom, as per usual. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. I think we have just enough time to check out this one. Got a magnet on a rail. Got a button that moves the magnet on the rail. Oh, that was interesting! I wanna see that again! Fascinating. Did that give me an achievement? I think that gave me an achievement. Green cube killer. Crush the green cube. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is great. Right. Put the cube on there. Because that seems like a reasonable thing to do, right? And it maintains the velocity. Unlike me. Unlike me. Alright, this was straightforward enough. Oh, come on! Are you serious? Oh, man. Oh, wait. We can easily retry, so that's good. There we go. Alright. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!